So anybody who takes dog training really seriously is at some point going to have to confront the difficulty of getting a male dog to work around the presence of the scent of a bitch in heat. I recently had the opportunity to talk through with an IGP competitor the best way to not only make this not a problem for you when you compete, but to also have it help you while you're on the field. He told me that he got a lot from it and so I wanted to make that conversation available to you. Make sure you stick around to the end and see the progress video he showed me just a couple of days after we spoke. That's one of the reasons we try and get this reflexive response to the clicker, right? Because having a marker that says like, that is correct, come back and get food, if food is the, the reinforcer, then it gives options where you can hear the marker and say, no, I'm not going to. And that's why we try really hard to establish a reflexive response where the dog doesn't making choices, just finds himself doing it. But even then, reflexes can be sort of overridden or recovered from where the dog might hear the clicker and go to and then go like, oh no, I'm not doing that and go back to what they're doing. Um, and so when we're dealing in reinforcers, you know, at the end of the day, uh, every mammal, what we know of them is that it's it's about survival, right? But it's not just survival of the individual, it's survival of the species. And so like sexual reproduction and anything that the dog is involved in that space, so especially the urine of a bitch in heat, but even sometimes just the urine of another uh, dog or another bitch, can be higher valued than food to the dog. And even starving them out may not necessarily change that because his programming is not just for him to survive, it is for the species to survive, right? And so if he is convinced that this is going to lead to reproductive sex, then food is of lower value than reproductive sex. And starving the dog out may work, but it may not always work. And so of course, it's something that we absolutely want to proof the dog off of so that if if and when we need to, we can call the dog off of um, the scent of a bitch in heat. And, and you know, it's usually we would say that the dog doesn't have his... If a, if a working dog is more interested in that than doing the work, especially bite work, then we would say he's not an ideal working prospect. But we have the dog that we have and we've got to train appropriately, right? So if we ever find ourselves in that position, that is the time where I would use negative reinforcement off of that scent, right? And that's where I would compel the dog to come back. But then what I would do is show the dog that it's inevitable. You are coming to me and you are taking this food or you are taking this ball or you are doing whatever. But I'm acknowledged to myself then this is not the reinforcer. This is what is the job now is take the food, play the ball, whatever it is. The re the reinforcer is you get to go back to what you were doing. So I have to acknowledge that when I call the dog off of that, you know, uh, urine of a bitch in heat, then that tells me for sure, like, okay, I I'm gonna force you to come back. Whether that means I have to hand over hand drag you in, it's happening, right? You are coming back. You are gonna take this food or you are gonna play this game, right? It's the new work and I'll use negative reinforcement until that happens. But then once you've done what I wanted of you, I let you go back and I let you do that. So what you, you know, smell what you wanted to smell. So that the dog quickly realizes, right, the only path to keeping what I currently have is by doing what you ask of me. And that way, when the dog is, you you know, absent all the tools, absent all the lines and equipment and all the things, even absent any other reinforcer, when the dog is smelling that and, you know, you see them frothing and you know, like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. This is a, this is a problem I'm going to have to work through. Once they've understood all of that and there's been a learning phase of that, it's inevitable. You can then call the dog off of it easily because he knows, well, I have no choice. Like you'll force me back and then it's cool. The quicker I get back, do what you ask of me, the quicker I get back to this actual reinforcer that I currently have, I get it back, right? So it's a... But then again, when I, 
when you see that, when it happens, we have to sort of diagnose why. Because, yep, it's totally possible that the, you know, reproductive sex is the highest value reinforcer because it's not just about survival of the individual, it's about survival of the species. It's very hard wired in. But then we got to look at our training and say, how can we be better, right? How can I be more competitive with that scent, right? And, and usually just the delivery of food itself is probably not going to cut it and, and, it's going to be about something they really enjoy and that would be play usually or you know tug or bite work or whatever it is right like whatever it is you got to convince a dog i have better function like i can give you more fun than that scent right and while it's just a scent you really you probably really can um so you deal with it in the moment and you but the you know the long story short is that by hook or by crook, you do have to get the dog off the scent. They do have to do what you ask, but then the scent is now your new reinforcer. That's actually what you're gonna pay the dog with. And then you're in the clear for the rest of the dog's life, right? Once he understands that, when he smells that, you know, especially if it's on the trial field, if someone tries to fuck you around like that, when you enter the trial field, your dog smells it, you have no idea it's there, and he looks at you and goes, thank you for having organized that scent for me, which I will go to after having done all this work for you. You will no doubt release me to go and smell that so i will work as well as you I, I will work even better for you than if you only had the food or the ball or whatever right um so you turn a problem into a positive Take it.